Hi, friends. So this week I wanted to try out this paint by number kit, but with a twist. I'm going to try to customize the paintings by changing up the colors. You'll see what I mean. So this kit comes with five different canvases, and in the instruction manual, it has a picture of what each canvas will look like when it's done. And they're all really pretty landscapes of national parks, but the instruction manual also has information about each park, and I saw this picture. And this to me is just much prettier and more interesting, so I got the idea to try to alter the painting a little bit to look like that. Now, this kit came with pots of paint, obviously, but according to the instruction manual, you mix your own colors based on the recipes that they provide. Now, this is not a review of this specific kit, but what? One part A and a dot of C? How big is a part? How big is a dot? This is why I don't cook. I need specifics. It also doesn't tell you how much to mix, it just says to eyeball the amount. Excuse me? Again, not a review. So my plan is to mix up each color and then add purple paint and see what the colors look like. I mixed up really tiny batches of the 10 colors and if I'd thought ahead, I probably wouldn't have done it on shiny aluminum foil. But anyway, I followed the recipe and just sort of winged it. Winged it? Wung it. No, winged it. And adjusted the colors with dots of paint in the recipe until I got a color that matched the key in the book. Then I added purple paint to each color. Some colors needed more purple than others, like the browns took a lot more purple to alter than the blues, obviously. And the greens, I had to kind of go slowly and carefully so they didn't look like, well, poop. I kept checking the colors against the inspiration picture and against each other to make sure the palette looked nice together. Once I liked the mix of colors that I had, I put a little swatch down on a piece of paper so I had a reference. Then it was time to mix up bigger batches. I'm going to use these empty pots to store them. And I have no idea how much I'm going to need, but it's probably better to have too much than not enough. I really don't want to have to remix and try to match these later. I did make sure to test each color against the swatches that I made earlier, and then I just adjusted the ones that were too light or too dark. Now let's paint. I did stick with plain white for the eagle versus a purpley white, but the rest of the colors are all altered. With all the colors already laid out, this was a pretty relaxing process. It did take around six hours over a couple of evenings, just because that's sort of the nature of paint by numbers. And the paint took a couple of coats to be fully opaque. I don't know if other people get as obsessive about little sheer areas in their paintings, but I despise them. Also, only slightly related to anything, but I weirdly found a National Parks coloring book with the exact same picture. It actually has three of the five pictures from this paint by number kit, and I can't find anywhere that they're by the same people or even related, but they are definitely the same pictures. Not sure there was any point to any of that, but I felt like someone needed to know. Now once this painting's done, I'm pretty happy with it. It doesn't look as sunsetty as the inspiration picture, but I didn't add anything, I just changed the colors. But I do think that it has a different feel to the original one. But it's not enough. I want to go farther. So I'm going to do this one. 
which should look like this, but I'm gonna go for something even crazier, something neon. For this painting, each cliff mountain thing is gonna be a different color. So for each section, I started with the lightest color and then altered the paint slowly to get darker. I did keep the booklet close by so I could try to match the value of what the original color was. I also tried to follow the original picture in making the foreground darker and the background a bit more faded. Also, in case you're wondering, I started on the right side because I'm left-handed and I will rest my hand right in wet paint and smudge it. In the middle of this painting, I genuinely wasn't sure if I loved it or hated it. I didn't mix any colors together beforehand, so I really didn't know if they were gonna look good together. Plus, focusing on teeny tiny areas and painting them with neons just sort of made my eyes overwhelmed. And I needed a night away once it was done before I could decide if I liked it. Obviously, there's a million ways you could customize a paint by number by adding things to it, but I wanted to do something that anyone could do. I love watching really talented artists, but the videos that really inspire me to create are the ones that I think, hey, I could do that. And everyone can just pick a different color. For areas like the grass, sky, water, and animals, I went with normal colors close to what the original called for. I felt like the painting needed some gentler areas in between the rest of the aggressive colors. I really love this painting. It's so bright and fun, and I think I'm actually gonna frame it and hang it. So I hope you found this entertaining and maybe got the bug to try it yourself. There's so many different things that I wanna try. Monochromatic, negative, pastel. What do you think? Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.